It is May 26th. We are actually in Seattle today. Stopped off at Ghost Alley Espresso. I got their mystery mocha, which I, I guess he makes it specific to the person. You can kind of give your little uh, things that you want or what you like in a coffee, and it'll make it special for you. We also got the smog uh, with a little bit of lavender, and uh, that also tastes pretty good as well. But um, I would have to say my mystery mocha is that much better. We're right here at uh, Pike's Place Market, and right next to the gum wall, I mean, kind of the places you gotta go to when you come to Seattle. I know it's very touristy, but uh, I've never seen it, so we're gonna check it out. Next up, we decided to stop here at local Tide to get some seafood. We're gonna get some seafood. done at local tide we got the fried fish sandwich which uh, kind of looks more like a, a more gourmet fish fillet from McDonald's but way better the fish was nice and tender very well cooked kind of just like wanted to fall apart on you so it was very easy to eat the cheese was great the dill and the sauce was amazing as well not too much dill so it's not overwhelming perfect amount of mayo and spices in it so it's not like overwhelming and not taking away from the fish and the cheese and the bun Great stuff uh, here at Local Tide. to Gasworks Park, which uh, for any uh, 10 Things I Hate About You fan, this is one of the locations that they had uh, in the movie. I mean, it's a nice wide open park. You got the sea line right there on one side and then on the other side you got this nice old Gasworks uh, location. Just very industrial looking and very nice breeze. And luckily again, we we're out here on a sunny day and you can kind of see nice, uh, Houses on the shoreline and then also the space needle in the background. Very nice.
stopped off and got more coffee because why not? That one was lavender latte. Yeah, just as good <laughs> as uh, some of the other coffees that we've gotten here. It's kind of nice is each little spot kind of has a little variant of their specialty coffee. So you get a quite a range of different coffees. Just kind of uh, perusing about and looking at uh, whatever kind of pops up. to the Space Needle, uh, the kind of like the lounge area surrounding it, and uh, in the process lost my beanie. So I get the backtrack for that. But anyways, we made it to the Space Needle, and now I just need to buy the tickets to go up top and get a nice look of Seattle up there. It's probably been about 20, 25 years since I've been up there. So it'll be interesting to see what has changed. Back then, there was an arcade with The Simpsons up there, and that's pretty much all I remember. But uh, it would be kind of stellar if the Simpsons arcade was still up there. Anyhow, we're gonna make our way up. Okay, we are done with the Space Needle. Um, I don't know if it was worth the $35, but if you haven't gone on the Space Needle, it might be worth checking out uh, just to get the height and the perspective of Seattle. But um, as for me, there wasn't the Simpsons video game, unfortunately, but you know, it was worth a chance to go see it again. <laughs> Not that it, that was the main purpose of going, but it was uh, it was nice to be back up in, in the Space Needle, but $35, I would I would pass <laughs> anyhow 
probably gonna head back to the room and eat the rest of our pizza. All right, we're out. Okay, next up we decided to stop here at local Tide, Tide. to get some seafood. Are we gonna get some seafood?